Hi, my name's Mike, M0XMX, and today I'd like to do you a quick review on a radio that's been sent to me to evaluate, and it's by this company, TID Radio, and um, I've been using it for the last few days. Uh, I'm down by the sea at the moment in the motorhome, and I've been using it to have a few uh, QSOs on two metres, and also to do some listening on the marine band. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm really impressed. Um, the actual radio is called the TID H3. And um, there's a few things that really impress me, to be honest. First of all, the size. Okay, so this is the radio. I mean, just look how big that radio is in comparison to my hand. Look how big it is in comparison to a Bofeng. Okay, this is the Bofeng GT GT5 TP. But basically, it's just a bow thing. Um, side by side, it's minuscule. Um, this is um, the Quan Sheng uh, UVK5, I think it is. Slightly smaller than that. So, yeah, it's it's very very neat. Um, another thing that really really impresses me about this, like with the Quan Sheng. It charges using a USB-C, so you can actually charge this with the same charger as what you would charge your phone. Another thing that impresses me, it comes with a desk charger. Um, so you could actually charge just the battery, or the battery in the phone on the desk charger, or even just the battery on its own, because the actual USB is here on the bottom of the charger. Um, it is basically what you would expect. It's a little um, two meters and 77s handy. So push that, just drop that in, snap it down. Silky smooth. There's a nice locking mechanism here to lock it into the actual uh, radio itself. Um, it's got SMA connector um, antenna so this is an SMA female so this is an SMA male so if you're ordering a replacement um, antenna it needs to be an SMA female that goes in there and it tightens up really nice you know that that feels like it's not going anywhere the antenna feels really good um, it comes with a belt clip but typically I take the belt clip off because it adds extra depth and I never clip it onto a belt anyway um, on the side, you've got um, a protective um, cap, if you like. And behind the protective cap, you've got microphone and headphone socket, standard Bofeng type um, HT microphone. And you've also got another USB. Now, this USB, I believe, doesn't charge it. This USB is for programming. So you can program this with a USB-C cable straight to your computer. There's another thing that's really good that I'm going to tell you in a minute um, that I think is quite unique, to be honest. Um, what else to tell you about the outside? On this side, you've got a PTT button and you've got a second PTT button. So you've got two PTT buttons, one for VFO A, one for VFO B. And then the, the last button on here is for a light. So if I turn it on now, it fires up really okay. quickly. And you can also um, have audio announcements on here, so it can actually tell you what channel you're on, uh, what settings you're going into. Uh, if I press the bottom button on here, for instance, you'll see the light comes on. Press it again, and it goes into flashing mode to attract someone's attention. Press it again, and it goes off. Um, there are some LED indicators on the top of here to show the status. So, for instance, uh, transmit and receive. At the moment, you'll see it's on 156.000, which here in the UK, this is uh, the Marine Coast Guard um, tasking channel. Um, it's got very, very wide receive. What I'll do, I'll bring up on the screen here a PDF that will show you all about the radio and the technical specs and, and what it can actually do. Uh, I won't bother boring you and reading it to you. I really just want to give you my opinion. Um, programming it is dead easy. Uh, it's just the same as programming 
a bow thing. Um, literally, you um, press and hold this button here. Menu. Okay, and then it tells you what it's doing. So, so straight away, menu zero is band width. So, TX wide or TX narrow. And then if I use the arrows, it will actually go down. Menu zero is band width. Menu one is squelch, so you can change the squelch level. Um, menu um, two is TX power, high, low, that kind of thing. So it's really intuitive. You can, without even reading the user manual, you'll be able to set this up yourself very, very quickly. Um, let's just let's just come out of that for a second and show you the user manual that comes with it. Now, this is something worth talking about because the user manual, number one, has got loads of pages, okay? So there's loads of information, but unlike a lot of radios, it's not in 15 different languages. This user manual is all in English. So all the information that's in here is relevant to the English version of this radio. And, and I've got to be honest with you, the, this, the instructions are really, really good. I don't know whether you can actually see this, but they're in colour. And, uh, and I found them really useful. They go through all of the uh, the various different settings and the menu options, but they also go through how to actually program the radio using um, the PC software. Now, um, the software you can download from their website free of charge, and you may remember from a previous video I showed you um, this little Bluetooth dongle that they sent me that will enable you to program a radio like a Bofeng or a, a Quansheng or even this radio um, and it's an adapter that you plug into the radio and it enables you to program the radio using Bluetooth. Now what's amazing with this radio is this has Bluetooth built into it so you can actually program this radio with nothing more than the software running on uh, I guess your, your laptop uh, or maybe even your phone, I don't know whether you can actually get a phone version of it, but you can link via Bluetooth straight to the radio with nothing else and programming it with the uh, included free of charge software. It is possible also to use Chirp. I guess if you were using Chirp, you would probably need the uh, the a cable. It doesn't come with a cable, um, but I'm guessing it's probably the standard cable that you would get with a Bofeng. Um Power output supposedly is 5 watts on full power. Again, as I say, I'll show you the full specs in the PDF. But um, I've been really impressed with this. Uh, let me just show you how easy it is. So, so this is the radio just exactly as you would be walking down the street with it or on top of a hill. And simply type in 145-500. That puts you on the UK um, 2 metre calling channel. And then with the arrows up and it will step up you can change the step increments depending on what band you're working on two meters is a bit quiet here i'm actually at sea level so um we're not going to get any real distance and i'm inside the motorhome but i'm just showing you how easy it is to change the frequency um and you can program frequencies in so with this orange button here you can go from vfo mode to memory mode and also you can switch to 70s or back to two meters. So whichever band you want to work really. Um, I found the audio, the, the reception audio to be really good uh, for a handy. Um, and I've also found some really good reports coming back to me um, from QSOs that I've had. Um, I'll put a link down below so that you can actually um, inquire how much it is to buy i think it's something like 35 dollars um which actually is not bad bad value for um a two meter 70 sems the uh the battery i haven't used it long enough to be able to establish whether the battery lasts as long as you would imagine uh, i think the the spec of the battery is something like 2500 milliamps um so you would expect it to last a decent amount of time. I would, to be totally honest. Um, you've got different TX powers, so you can actually transmit on low power if you're really, really conscious about conserving um, battery power. 
Um, what else to tell you about this little radio? Uh, you can obviously set it up for all of the repeaters with the offsets and the tones and stuff like that. Um, let me just show you what it looks like uh, side by side against a selection of radios. So uh, I've just got a few radios here actually. Let me just um, turn this round. So this is a marine uh, radio. I've got my marine license. This is the little Quan Cheng. This is the Bofeng. And this is the little TID radio. So you can see um, against them all, it's a very, very dinky little radio. And I've got to be honest with you, um, I'm really, really impressed. I definitely would um, buy one of these radios. So anyway, there you go. I will put a link below for this radio. Um, and then if you're interested, you can take a look at that. So there you go. You can actually see how, uh, how it compares against those radios. Right. Thank you very much for uh, watching this short review and I hope you enjoyed it. I would say this is definitely a thumbs up. I would buy this radio. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care. Seven free. And if you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. You'll find somewhere in the region of 200 plus videos on amateur radio. And if you like what you see, then why not consider subscribing? Thanks very much again for your time. Take care. Bye bye.